Hey guys, I'm coming at you with another video. This is my daughter's favourite dish. Let's get started. Three cloves of garlic, Himalayan sea salt, tablespoon, five grams of rosemary, coriander and black pepper, a tablespoon, two teaspoons of chilli powder, a tablespoon of mixed herbs, sweet smoked paprika a tablespoon mix seasoning a tablespoon coriander leaves about 10 grams half a cup of mixed peppers i make my own hot sauce but you can use shop bought about two tablespoons onions half a cup and then we have the chickpeas about two cans one fourth cup of fresh tomatoes half a cup to one fourth cup of okra depending on if you like okra or not now i'm just gonna fry off the onion you're just looking for the onions to become slightly translucent now i'm just adding the mixed peppers you can buy the mixed peppers frozen or you can use them from fresh. I'm just adding the chickpeas now. With the chickpeas, I do like using fresh. I find the flavors more prominent, but I also, when you, you know, you push for time, it's, there's nothing wrong with using frozen. I'm just adding in the, um, the ingredients now, just putting everything in together. Trust me guys, the kitchen smells amazing. All the spices, all combined, it's nice. <laughs> Hey guys, I've quickly got to take this out of the oven. Um, it's just a puff pastry with apple and um, mixed fruits. Now um, I'm just mixing it. I just let left it to steam down a little bit so everything can combine. I've added in the tomatoes and about one fourth cup of water with that. And now I'm just gonna add the chili sauce. With the chili sauce, I had a little bit, hot sauce, sorry, better, better terminology. Um, with that, I add a little bit and then I taste it and then I go back if I feel I want to add some more. My son's gonna be having this, so I don't want it to be too hot. So um, I've not added too much. I'm just adding a tablespoon of honey. I tend to add the okra in right at the end because I like to have a little bit of a crunch to my okra. I don't like it too soft. And I'm just gonna add a few basil leaves. I think it just lifts the dish. I'm just gonna cover it and leave it for a few minutes. And there's the end result. I paired it with green banana and dumpling. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And the recipe will be on my blog.